Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Ooh, this is day two, guys. I couldn't put it all in one show. I've been working since 7.30. It's 9.30. Joe just pulled in. Let me show you what's going on. Thanks for being here. Yes, another lovely, beautiful day in the neighborhood. I have raked more leaves. I don't know. Dirt feels better than old leaves put in the comments what do you think do you like leaf cover or would you rather have dirt cover i am not going to be putting grass here it wouldn't grow that well with all the trees but uh hey joe you didn't abandon me you're back for more you must be having a good time i wasn't here bright and early though now that's okay you're still here early Kind of like better late than never, right? That's what I'm thinking. So, yeah, more leaves everywhere. I started uh, way up there too, getting some more leaves because I'm gonna have some landscaping done up here. I'm gonna bring some bushes in for starting to get some privacy around here. Not be so open, I can't wait. And then, I never did get to the emptying the porch yesterday because Joe made the recommendation that we should maybe put a, like a particle board, I forget what you call it, down here because it's starting to crack. And so that's just gonna make this stronger. So I'm gonna sweep this out. This is my everything that came out of this storage building along with a lot of loosey-goosey stuff and these are hurricane covers that were mandatory to pass inspection and then over here a little bit more i know it's really hard to believe joe laughs every time i he thinks about how much stuff i had packed in one four by six but now I've got this more organized into containers. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky because I don't have as much loosey-goosey stuff, although I still have a porch full of loosey-goosey and a lot of empty totes and containers. So we'll see what we can do. Joe's gonna actually put two by four around here also to cover up uh, critters wanting to find a new home here. So he's gonna do that all the way around. But today is a little bit more dirt, the paper sand, and then the stones. So I'll show you as we go. Joe's in the back working, working. And so I'm not interrupting him. I found a new job, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna move all these leaves I'm raking them up and putting them in his wheelbarrow that he brought over today. Whew, now I need to buy a wheelbarrow. Just cleaning up the land for when they come and uh, do my driveway in the van spot, you know? And I'm taking them beyond his truck and I'm dumping them over there in the little pathway. Maybe I'll lose a couple pounds by the end of the day. And then I can eat and regain them. <laughs> Isn't that how that goes? Hope you'll join me. <laughs> well, no, Joe's looking pretty serious. He's putting the rebar in. Joe's knocking the rebar in there. Good job, Joe. I'm impressed. I'm tired. 
I started at 7.15 this morning <laughs> and it's quarter till six. It's been a long day, guys, but I feel like I really accomplished a lot. And, you know, I really like working outdoors. Raking leaves is hard. I dumped 18 wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow full of leaves. Let me show you. And I'll show you the progress on the patio. Joe's coming back again tomorrow. He thought it was a one day and it's turned into three. He's a perfectionist with leveling. It's like, it's beautiful. Some of you who've been with me a while since the build of my tiny home, you know the water line runs right here into the house. And I had shown you the ditch here, you know that they went right through there. There's my uh, shut off over there, but there's a shut off, a main shut off over here also. But we've got this walkway and this is where they dug through with the pipes. And Joe thought this would be a good place to dump leaves because they're gonna disintegrate. But this is the job today. Here you go. That's 17 wheelbarrow fulls. That's hard to say, wheelbarrow. <laughs> you understand. Yeah, I'm huffing and puffing, just finishing up. So let me show you the, showing you, he took away all the dirt from the house, which looks beautiful. Now I've got to get like, I don't know, you can do something other than power wash to clean this. So I will be doing that. And he leveled this. We're going to, he's going to make a step here for me, but I'm going to use paver stones for the, for the time being. Going to move the picnic table once the patio is done, because this is kind of sitting out here in nowhere's land. This is when uh, they were doing the build. It was a perfect place to work and watch them build and, you know, do videos. You can go in the playlist if you want to see the entire build here. But here's, here's where he's at now. He's used nine bags of paver base. It took a long, long time to fill this and to get it level. And he, like I said, he's a he's over-the-top perfectionist. But he told you that. And so we're going along here. And then, uh, so nine bags so far. He said it's going to go pretty quick now. But he's got these these down, I think. He's nailed those down. I mean, that board's not going to stay there. And I'm making a design. So I'll show you when it's all done, the design. It's going to be really cool. And uh, he's using that to kind of fill in with the... I brought those from Lake Huron. I'm gonna do some kind of artsy fartsy thing with them. So yeah, he had to go home and feed the dogs and he had to be done for the day. Like he likes to work late, but here's the paper base. Yeah, the lights are coming on out here. That's good, my motion detectors. So I'll just add to this a little bit more tomorrow. Hope it's not getting too long now. Alrighty, night, see you in the morning. You know what they say about this day. It's a gorgeous one, and I have started to make, I re-raked. It's kind of like, you know, I got the heavy stuff, and now I feel like I really want to do an extra good job. I mean, there's just, you know, leaves everywhere. I could be raking the dirt now. So I've got probably, I'm guessing, about 30 piles all over the yard, and I also um, went to the back and... Uh, just heard from Joe. There's some more pals. Now we got my shadow. Pile, pile, gorgeous day in the neighborhood. Piles all the way out there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yep, it'll be, uh, patio will be done today, God willing. And then next weekend is the driveway and the RV spot guys that I've been talking about for what six months or more or ever since I got this land there you go work 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 lots in the back by the picnic table I raked that whole back area too three Joe wow thanks for coming back you're welcome okay so what you doing now I thought you was I thought you was pouring sand. I'm sidetracked again. Okay, yeah, well, I do that to you. We're putting a border around the building so we can't don't get critters in there. Oh, fantastic! Wow, yeah, a side job, huh? I just keep <laughs> yeah. I just keep yeah. adding to your list, don't I? Yeah. I don't know, guys. 
Joe has a lot of patience here. I don't know if I should check in on him right now. This job is way longer than what he thought. Hey, Joe, how's it going? <laughs> Painstakingly slow. Yeah. But I mean, basically to, to get it right though. Right. It's gonna be good. So quite a bit longer than you thought, huh? Yep. Yeah. Well, and the first part we thought was we thought we were going to be more level to start with, so there was a lot of a lot of scraping down and and then uh, and filling in over here. So that that was one day for sure. Yeah. And so it's not the videoer that's throwing you off, right? It's not the what? The videographer here. The oh vi no. No. Okay. Because no. sometimes people think when I'm um, videoing people working that I'm slowing them up and I'm always asking yeah. permission and so I just wanted right. to make sure. Okay, and so you use about five bags across here and then you're tamping the stones down, is that correct? Yep, and it was up there where it was hard and we had to scrape down, it was actually less, like four, four bags is probably the most. Okay. But because this needed a lot of fill and we kind of run out of dirt. It was going to be hard to get to. It was just as easy to buy more sand and just make the filler a little deeper. So Right. So I'm just going to watch what you're doing here. Too much here. All right. So you have to remove and then you hit it with your mallet. Yeah, it only drops. It only pounds down so far. So I want to be reasonably close when I start. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. If I didn't know better, I would have think you've been doing this all your life, Joe. Yeah. One and only now, huh? Right, maybe I should. Uh, <laughs> see, I think they got a little bit between the cracks, so I don't like to see the cracks showing. I know. Look at this, guys. Is this beautiful or what? Put in the comments, and I'll boost. Joe's uh, self-esteem here with, with his or uh, with his uh, wanting to make everything perfect. Look at that. Is that beautiful? We're not sure about the trim here. Neither one of us are crazy about it, but it was an inexpensive way to go for now. And I'm thinking I may paint these, so we don't know. But it, it, it you know, it cost about what eighty-five for the three. Um, the three four by fours and the rebar. So that's where we're at now. You know, trim's really expensive or putting bricks or whatever. Did you tell them what the white ones were gonna be? Well, yeah, that's a surprise oh. for the end. Yep, yeah, there's a uh, a design in there, so. Yep. All right. Right now, it looks like it's gonna be a big number one. Yeah, there you but go. But it's not. All right, so we'll check in with you later, Joe, all if that's righty. all right. Checking with attention to detail. Just one more thing here, Joe. So what did you say if it's straight so it doesn't rock? Is that what you're trying to get? Something you just said to right, me? Right, yeah. You don't want it to, to flip back and forth now or it'll be worse later. Because later. Because good and snug right yeah, now. Yeah, and you just pulled that up again because... because I was dropping below my bore a little, so I had to add a little filler. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to... We don't want that to be a, a barrier holding water in. And I know it's a crack where water's going to go, but we're going to... Put some sand and stuff in there so the water will, will run off the side all right and we've got a three inch drop and in 12 feet here so all right joe thank you yep thank you super excited it's almost six o'clock this is day four uh, joe came over mm, this afternoon around two o'clock he had four rows left to do on the patio it's looking gorgeous. He's down to the last row now. And I can't wait to show it to you. I just wanted to give you a little synopsis, I guess, the cost, the time. Um, probably, I don't know, maybe three, six hour days because we talk a lot. The two of us talk and share and he you know did the shed also moved the shed for me 
and put the um, two by four around it. And uh, so I've been raking leaves and loading up the shed and cleaning windows, all kinds of stuff. So I've been quite busy as he put together or built the patio. So it was on the last row. All in all, the patio, I think it was about six, 650 in materials. Uh, that would be, we had to go get five more bags of the paver base and they ran around $5 a piece, which I mentioned to you in the first video. This is part two. So 55 bags of the paver base, uh, the three four by fours, the rebar. Um, I guess that that's it. It was, yeah, one, two, yeah, three items. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm missing anything. But uh, the paver base was, you know, the most expensive part. And Joe hasn't told me yet what he's charging me. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess a few hundred dollars, but he's really really reasonable and it's like a ministry for him. He wants to help people. He's just a beautiful soul, as you could tell. So he you know took the break before it got dark to uh, mow my property because I wanted to get it all cleared for whenever the guys come to uh, start to lay the driveway and. Uh, yeah, so I have a design. It's really, really special to me. Something came to me at church today um, about, you know, the design that I chose and what it really represents to me. And I'm going to be sharing that with other people that come and visit and sit on my patio. I hope that's you. So as soon as he's done, if it's not too dark, I'll show you the finished patio, and if not, I'll, tr I'll um, maybe video it in the morning and maybe attach a couple pictures too. So thank you guys for watching and for subscribing and clicking the bell and your comments. I really, really appreciate all of you being here. More to come on the tiny home cottage. Um, lot more projects and just really enjoying myself being here and as always looking forward to traveling some more too so with that blessings in your day and joy in your journey and in all your projects and keep watching i'll show you the finish i love you guys oh my gosh look how pretty i love waking up to all of this Manicured, no more crazy weed trees up there. That's where we're gonna be planting some privacy trees. So Joe cleaned out all through here. This is where my septic is. You've seen this many times, but you've never seen it cleared like this, guys. They're gonna be leveling all this out. That's the RV spot from a different direction now that you can actually see it more. Oh my gosh. So, drum roll please. Joe finished up about seven o'clock last night. It was a tedious job. There's a makeshift little patio area there for my, when I pull stuff out of my shed. We're going to do some leveling on that later. Dun, da, da. Look how pretty. And there's the design. Put in the comments, guys. What do you think that represents? Pause the video before I tell you. Look how pretty. You can see it from two directions. So, yes. This is a cross, but it's much more significant than just a cross. It is, yes, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So this represents to me hope, faith, and love. 
And when I was at church, literally sitting in the pew yesterday, I thought, wow, this right here is Jesus outstretched arm. He wants to embrace you. He wants to fully love you as he already does, but you have to allow him and accept his free gift of salvation, dying on the cross. So this represents his arm stretching out, come to me. And then when you do, he wraps this arm around you and carries you when you don't think you can go any further. Is that beautiful? So when people come over, it's going to open up conversation. Do you know Jesus? And do you know what he did for us? So there you have it. I'm gonna put my lounge chair on here. I'm gonna bring the table from over there on here for now probably cover it with some plastic that's actually going to go in the shed and I have markings here for where the 10 by 12 sheds going to go but that's not going to be for a while and there you have it free gift of salvation and a beautiful beautiful patio thank you Joe thank you dear Lord Jesus blessings in your day and joy in your journey once again.